Number 50. What is the effect on the concentrations of NO2 minus HNO2 and OH minus when the following are added to a solution of KNO2 in water? Then we have letter E. Now in this one, I, I think there is a little typo here because NO doesn't really exist. So I, I believe that, and what we're going to do in this equation is we're going to, we're going to act as if this was supposed to be KNO2 because that makes more sense. So there's an NO2 here. I believe that there should be an NO2. We're going to play it like that. Now, the first thing is, is that we already figured out this balanced equation in 50A. So if you want to get a refresher on how we got this equation, go back to 50A for that. But for this one, we're just going to jump right in. Now we're adding KNO2. So first we're going to just break down this compound. I notice that this is a salt because you have a metal and some nonmetals. A salt is the same thing as saying uh, ionic compound. So we have KNO2. The break would be between the metal and the polyatomic. So I have K plus and I have NO2. Now, the first thing is hopefully one of these would link up with one of your balanced equations. And in this case, the exact one is the NO2. I see that I have NO2 minus here, and I see that I have NO2 minus here. And keep in mind that we are adding KNO2. So if KNO2 increases, it trickles down to saying that I'm also increasing NO2 minus. So this I'm increasing. So I answered my first answer. The concentration of NO2, right? They say, what's the effect on the concentration of NO2? That would increase. So I have one out of my three answers. Now I just have to figure out what's going on with the HNO2 and what's going on with the OH minus. Okay, now that comes from Le Chatelier's principle, chapter nine. Little review here, guys. They love Le Chatelier's. Just know that when you're increasing an amount of something, you have way too much. So you're always going to shift to the opposite side. In this case, we're increasing on the left side. So you're going to shift to the opposite side. So the predominant reaction is going from left to right, which means that all of these would increase. And basically, if the H2O was an aqueous and not a liquid, this would drop. But since I'm going from left to right, HNO2 would increase, and so would OH minus. They're on the same side. So HNO2 would increase, and so would the OH minus. And that's it. This is your final answer. Oh, yeah. And this concludes, I believe, number 50. So I really hope this helped. Little Le Chatelier's, little uh, review. All good. Um, yeah, if you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button. And I hope to see you. Well, not see you, but I hope to be helping you out with chem in the next lesson. Okay, have an awesome day. Bye-bye.